Hey, it's Owen from Enmore Audio, and this week we're looking at the super unpleasant companion from Frederick Effects. I'm gonna get stuck into the demonstration right now. I've pre-recorded the guitar already, and I'm gonna use a reamper to go to town with the pedal on it, so I've got my hands free. I've used an L2A reamper, and I'm playing on a Telecaster on the bridge pickup setting. There's actually some really cool facts and history behind the pedal, which I'm going to talk about after the demonstration. But for now, let's get stuck in. That was the demo. Now let's get into a bit of history behind the pedal and we'll see what some of its features are too. Frederick is a boutique pedal company out of North London making all sorts of original pedals and some next level clones of classics as well. Stuff like the Clon, their zombie clone, the orange squeezer which is their zesty compressor and a bunch of fuzzes too like the Big Muff Green Fuzz, the Mozrite Fuzzrite, the Fuzz Face and a whole world of other pedals. This super unpleasant companion is a combination of two sought after Japanese fuzz boxes combined into one box. First up, we've got the late 60s Shinai Companion FY2, famously used by, amongst others, Joy Division and New Order, and the Shinai FY6 Companion, a fuzz circuit design licensed to Shinai by the Honey brand in the late 60s. Initially appearing in a multi effects unit christened the Psychedelic Machine, and soon after as a standalone box called the Baby Crying Unit. This is the same design that was later rebranded and sent to the United States under the name the Univox Super Fuzz, and was re-licensed under at least 10 different names and counting. It was famously used by groups such as The Cramps, The Who, Nirvana and Mudhoney and many, many more. So this is where the Super title comes from in the Super Unpleasant Companion. The Companion, of course, comes from the original title of the FY2 and FY6, and the Unpleasant is an English word for nasty, I believe. Initially, Frederick released a version of just the FY2 called the Unpleasant Companion, which rings true to the original with its two transistor fuzz design. However, they included a booster circuit at the end to up the level because these pedals were notorious for getting quiet once engaged in the original designs. This same modification also exists in the FY6 section of this pedal too. It's a fairly simple, straightforward and beautiful looking unit housed in a wedge enclosure that is pretty close to its original design. For a lot of music fans, the mention of the Shinai Fuzz brings to mind the Jesus and Mary chain. Now, there's a lot of misinformation going around about what they actually used, so I did some research and found out for you. 
on the Frederick Effects website, there is video of founder Tim Webster working on the actual pedals of the Jesus and Mary chain, doing some modifications to add some LED lights. They are in fact the TR8 Shin Eye Fuzzwaz. Now this happens to be the same circuit as in the FY6 Super Fuzzers, minus the wah section. They're called TR8s because there's eight transistors, but two of those are for the wah section only. So there we go, that's the same pedal. He also puts his own pedals up against these Jesus and Mary Chain originals, and they sound really, really close. So I thought I'd give it a crack too. I played some Jesus and Mary Chain style sounds through the pedal, and here's what we got. Now let's take a look through this thing's features. We've got a pretty small array of knobs and switches to move today. We've got the expander knob. This is pretty much your fuzz amount. On the original FY2 units, this does hardly anything and they very accurately matched it on this. We've got balance. This is our overall level, our master volume if you will. We've got our mode here for switching between the two fuzz pedal circuits, the FY2 and the FY6. And finally, our tone, which offers the original options of a regular tone and a more scooped sound. Oh, and on the back here, this thing's numbered and signed. Let's take a look inside. All right, it's powered by nine volt DC or battery, if you like. I can see eight transistors in here, and I'm guessing that the extra two are for the level makeup circuits. I've got to send this pedal back to the company, so I can't start reverse engineering it, unfortunately, to see exactly how he's joined these circuits, but it's pretty ingenious. And there we have it, the Frederick Super Unpleasant Companion Fuzz Unit. If you've watched a few of these videos, you'll probably realise that I really like fuzz units, and this is no exception. Fuzz isn't the most versatile sound, but in this box you have two separate units, which are both sort of different sounding. You've got the FY2, which is kind of a bitey single line thing, and it does work on chords. Whereas the FY6, the super fuzz, is a bit more of an overdriven wild beast. The tone setting gives you extra variety, going from kind of nasally and original through to a scooped sound, which is much doomier sounding when overdriven. So is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I get to play a lot of fuzz pedals, and this one sounds great. It's got a very vintage tone to it. Now it's $350 retail in Australia, which is expensive, but for a boutique pedal, that's not too crazy. Plus you get two units in the same box. I should mention in 2016, an American company bought up the Shinai name and license and started remanufacturing all their old products. As of 2021, they've gone out of business. So why not grab something like the Frederick FX FY2 and FY6, the super unpleasant companion, and know that you'll have support from a company that will keep it rolling for a long time. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week for more stuff.